In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, get your character uh, that you're controlling to uh, get into and out of a car and while it's in the car it's uh, able to uh, drive around okay and uh, when you get out of the car you're able to uh, leave the car parked or wherever you left it and uh, yeah run around as, as you need to okay good so uh, when you come close to this car you will see a button appear uh, in the corner here it says uh, enter car asking if you want to enter the car which we do okay and then we've now taken control of the car we're going to drive the car around as normal okay you can do everything you normally do in that car okay and then we stop the car uh, the text on this button has changed to asking if you want to exit the car we click that uh, then we are now at the near position the car's uh, here and uh, Ethan our character is now standing next to the car okay and uh, you can run around as normal there uh, when we move at a, a distance away from the car the button uh, disappears okay we move back close to the car button appears again and asks if we want to drive yes we do let's get back in uh, first person view here okay and uh, let's go let's have a little drive okay and there we go all right so that's what we're doing in this video good okay so <clears throat> yep all works fine okay now there's quite a lot of steps in doing this um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep it at a beginner level and uh, we're going to start from the beginning okay good so the first thing you need to do is you need to make a new scene okay and you need to put a terrain in there okay um, good or you can put a quad or whatever you want to use but you need, you need a surface to drive and walk around on okay Good. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the standard assets, the Unity standard assets, and uh, the, what you're going to need from there are the cameras, and you're going to need the characters, and you're going to need the car from the vehicles. Okay. So let's start to uh, build this. First thing we need to do is uh, we'll start with our character. So we go standard assets character. Uh, prefab okay uh, prefabs and then we'll grab the third person controller so there's our uh, Ethan okay our standard assets so third person controller person and here uh, we're going to go down to uh, vehicles and we have uh, car prefabs and just grab the, the the standard car okay so now we've got a car and um, we've got uh, Ethan and we'll come back to the cameras later on okay good so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make um, prefabs of um, of our uh, purse uh, player and our car so right click on there uh, and duplicate and rename to player and drag that into your folder and that's a prefab now remove the first one that you had from the standard assets and in player make sure the player is tagged player okay good uh, car again right click duplicate rename call this one player car and we need to tag this uh, player car so you need to make a tag uh, player car and tag the car player car and the colliders inside here player car good okay uh, let's look at uh, this car a little bit more okay we'll just uh, delete this, this car here we don't need that anymore we've got our actual car okay and what we need to do is um, when when Ethan gets into this car uh, it's fine okay but when he gets out he needs to get out in a safe position all right not like um, in front of the car and possibly get run over or something but like somewhere to the side possibly yeah so let's um <clears throat> let's let's go uh, right click on the car uh, we'll create a cube 
and this is going to be like our landing point all right so like our exit point the the point where ex where, where uh, ethan's going to be when he gets out of the car okay so i've got a cube called exit point put it in the player car and then we'll just move that out so as we can see it okay make it a bit smaller 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and just take it out of the ground 0 0.25 okay and there we have a position a point where uh, we're going to uh, get Ethan when he gets out of the car when the player gets out of the car he's going to land here so to speak all right so this is going to be next to the car good so with this exit point uh, let's turn off the box collider and later on we'll turn off the mesh render but we'll leave the mesh render on for now uh, because we want to just use that as our reference point okay uh, you can click anywhere in there and just apply that to your prefab good uh, next thing we need to do is uh, we have a look here uh, we need to just solve a problem and I'm going to show you the theory behind that all right now we're using a keyboard to move these around okay uh, and if we press the keyboard right now uh, we press forward both the car and Ethan are moving all right so we need to solve this problem and in order to do that we need to understand like why these um, vehicles and Ethan are moving around okay when we press the keys on the keyboard uh, or whatever control we're using all right so if we look at the player, we look down here, we can see third person user control script. Okay, uh, this thing here is uh, enabling us to move this uh, person around, and the player car has a car user control, and that's what's enabling us to move this car around. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, when we're controlling uh, Ethan, we're going to turn off the car, the thing that controls the script that controls the car, and uh, when we can, when we're driving, we're going to turn off the uh, script that's controlling Ethan all right so that's the theory good so uh, what we need to do now is we need to uh, get some mechanism uh, in order to to do that all right um, but first we need a button all right so let's go create UI button okay and uh, let's uh, put this in the top uh, corner so we'll just reset it and then put it into the top corner and we can rename call it enter exit button okay and i uh, will just uh, make the text say enter exit car okay uh, that button we need to get that to work all right and we'll do so in a moment so remember what we're doing here um, when Ethan uh, walks towards this car he needs to we need to get this button to turn on and off all right depending on how far away he is from that car so what we do now is we come back and look at the um, player okay and uh, on the player uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make an empty game object right click uh, this and we'll call it uh, we'll call it trigger okay or button button trigger okay and uh, this uh, button trigger is um, going to add components and we're going to go physics uh, we'll put a sphere we'll just put a sphere collider and let's home in on that now so what we're doing here is we're saying right okay now we'll make this a bit bigger uh, two yeah two is good let me make it a trigger okay so it's an empty game object with a sphere collider as a trigger attached and essentially what this does is uh, we're going to make a little script and it says when this trigger here this collider here uh, touches the colliders in the uh, car the player car which are tagged as um, player car these green ones here so when the green one uh, on here uh, when the when this one here this sphere of, on uh, attached to ethan touches the uh, colliders uh, attached to the car uh, which are tagged 
play a car uh, then this button is going to appear in the screen and ask the player if they'd like to enter the car or not okay good so that's what we're doing there and again uh, yeah just click on the player and hit apply okay and that becomes part of the prefab okay good so that looks like a lot of things are set up there now we need to get things to work uh, in order to do that we're going to need to have some kind of a player uh, position manager all right it's uh, going to do a number of things uh, one of all once uh, one of those things is going to be that it's going to uh, make sure that um, uh, we're only driving the car or moving Ethan around yeah, okay the other one is is to make sure the cameras are working properly uh, another one is to make sure that uh, when he gets out of the car he gets out of it and lands on this uh, this this position here this exit exit point here okay all right so uh, let's go create uh, create an empty and we'll just call it player position manager Okay, it's just an empty game object, um, and then we're going to attach a, a script to it. Okay, so uh, I've got a script here, which is uh, I'm going to just going to attach it now. So as you can see, that this is the reason for this is that we're going to attach this script. Okay, um, good. All right, now I just mentioned uh, cameras. Okay, so and this script, as you can see, that we're going to write up. Uh, is asking for some uh, cameras okay so if we come back to our standard assets we're going to get a camera for our player okay and in this example I've used uh, the multi-purpose uh, uh, camera rig okay so it's standard assets cameras prefabs multi-purpose camera rig just drag that into the scene okay uh, go to my folder I'm going to right click it and duplicate okay and I'm going to call it player camera okay player camera and I'm going to make a prefab of that as well okay player player camera player car in there okay good all right so now we have uh we'll remove this multi-purpose camera rig from the standard assets so now we have uh, uh here you should have a player a player camera and a player car and this player position manager right which is going to hold our script which is going to make all this happen okay good so um, what we need to do is um, here uh, have a look at this uh, player camera okay so um, if you look it's automatically looking for the player okay um, which is great and we need to have a quick look here and make sure that this camera is uh, tagged main camera it is okay good uh, if we turn off this uh, default camera okay we can see this is the view now of this one here the one we just made okay good um, next thing is we need to put a camera on our car so if we right click our car create a camera and call it camera car okay and uh, let's have a look at this now as you can see we can only see it up here and that's because this player camera uh, the main camera has a depth of one okay here depth of one uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our camera card to have a depth of two uh, which means we're rendering over the top of camera uh, depth one and we're going to move our car up a little bit and get this camera into the uh, yeah, to make it like first person okay maybe up minus one all right that'll do okay and again make that part of the uh of the, of the prefab uh so now we've got a camera car and we can see that uh, we've also got um a camera player 
uh, make sure the camera car is also t tagged uh, main camera all right okay good so that's the camera set up uh, I will um, get the main camera uh, of the of the camera car I'll just turn that off for a second all right and let's move now to um, the the actual scripting right so before we do any scripting we need to kind of remind ourselves what we're going to do otherwise the scripting can start to come become a bit uh, uh, complicated right overly complicated so let's look at our player position manager and uh, yeah it needs a player so let's drag the player in uh, let's drag the player car in now uh, it needs a button text Okay, just want to change that text. Uh, it needs a car exit point which we've made. Okay, that goes in there. It needs the player camera uh, which is there, and it needs the car camera which is there. Okay, right. So let's have a look at this script. So this script is called Player Position Manager. Okay. And uh, yep, you can take a screenshot. Okay, and I'm going to go through it with you now. There's only two scripts. Uh, this is the first one. It's the biggest one of the two. Okay, so at the top, uh, we want to have using Unity Engine UI uh, because we're going to be changing the text on the um, on the button. Uh, we then need to get the um, third person user control which is the thing that's uh, enabling us to control uh, ethan using the keyboard okay so we want unity standard assets characters third person then we're going to need to get the car user control so we need to so we're using unity standard assets vehicles car okay at the top now and then the first one we have is a public game object which is the player so let's have a look here and you can see how these correlate okay let's relate to each other so this one here uh, game object player is this one uh, then it's we've got a third person user control uh, which is this this script which is going to uh, control the player just to remind you this script down here so we're getting that okay and then we've got uh, play a car, play a car, and then we also need to get hold of that car user control. Okay, so car user control, car user control, and that's uh, on the player car. That's this one down here, car user control. Uh, then we've got uh, we're going to have like on this button, we just have a ball, true or false, on the on there, and uh, we have uh, this car button text. Okay, which uh, is this here. Uh, car button text and then we need the transform of the car exit point okay so we're using that and then we have the player camera and the car camera and all of those things we just made those and we put them all in and it's all working fine right okay so it's all, it's all there right so in the start what we need to do is we need to get hold of these two uh, controls right the third person controller controlling Ethan and we need to get the car user control which is controlling the car okay so we grab those okay by using get component and then what we're going to do is we're going to say well in this game uh, when we start the game we're going to be controlling Ethan all right we're going to be walking around first so we'll we'll control Ethan first so let's let's set that to uh, that third person user control to true and uh, we're not going to be driving the car so we'll set the car to false okay car user control enabled false uh, then the button of the text uh, the text of the button okay we're going to say okay enter car all right so the first text you're going to see when that button um, is uh, so active is uh, enter car all right uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the player camera to true uh, because as I said we're using uh, we're going to be using our character uh, Ethan uh, first we're going to be so we're going to need his camera on okay and we're not going to be using the camera in the car at the start because that's 
that's going to be stable so we turn that off okay good now let's have a look here uh, down here we've got uh, this uh, this public uh, function okay called enter exit car and this is going to be joined to our button okay so let's join our button to this script straight away and then we can go through and I'll explain what it does all right uh, here we have here uh, on click uh, we go plus uh, drag in our player position manager which uh, has the script attached to it with that function in it look down here player position manager uh, enter exit car that's the function that we want we can see it in here because we've made it public okay so now that's fine all right good so that button's now joined to that script uh, but what does that script do so let's have a look at this function here okay it does quite a lot of things right but essentially this bit uh, uh, will will get you in the car and this bit will get you out of the car okay all right so here what we do is when we press this function because uh, remember we start off we're we're walking around uh, we're going to switch the controls from the car uh, from the person from Ethan to make those false and then we're going to turn the car controls on right so we're no longer going to control Ethan we're going to control the car and then the button text is going to ask do we want to exit the car because we're in it so do we want to get out of it okay so the text changes uh then we then we turn off ethan all right we don't need to see him anymore because we're inside the car and we don't want to be driving around in first person as ethan so to speak and then see ethan standing uh outside okay so let's turn turn um turn ethan off and also we turn off the player camera and we turn on the car camera okay now when we're in the car and we want to get back out of the car we press the button okay we do the reverse which is we turn the Ethan's controller on we turn the car controller off and then what we do is we move Ethan to the car exit point all right because remember we've turned him off all right he's still where he was uh, but but we need to move him to where the, the new position of the car is and in particular we want him to be standing outside the car on our car exit point so the position of Ethan uh, position is going to be the car exit point position and the rotation will be the rotation again of the car exit point then we're going to turn Ethan on so as we can see him and we've already taken control of him and then the button will flip back on its text to say oh do you want to enter the car again all right uh, then it will say okay we're going to set the player camera to true and turn the car camera off all right okay there's a lot of things going on in there um, and we always make sure we've saved this script to make sure it works all right uh, okay so let's have a look here now that script there is uh, our player position manager script but uh, we also need to get this uh, button to turn on and off right and that if you remember we went to the player and we set up a button uh, trigger which was an empty game object with a sphere collider that's that's a trigger okay um, now this needs to have a script attached to it all right and the script's basically going to say okay when this trigger is activated like on trigger enter uh, turn the button on and on trigger exit turn the button off all right uh, so i've already made that script and i'm going to go through with you now and basically we uh, drag that and put it on the bottom of this uh, button trigger game object here and it's asking us for the car button which is going to turn on and off depending on whether you enter or exit the trigger so we just drag the button into there uh, we can hit apply on that that's fine okay and let's have a look at this uh, position trigger script okay so this is simply going to uh, set active so you can see if you can see the see the button or you can't see the button right so uh, 
public game object enter car button this is uh, this over here which we've just dragged in on awake we're going to set it to false because in this particular game we're, uh, Ethan's going to be standing away from the car all right so he doesn't need to go into the car so you can make a choice okay, so we'll turn that button off uh, and then we'd basically set up this on trigger enter uh, it's a, a other collider and if the other colliders tagged play a car then enable uh, set active the um, button so we can see it on the screen and use it if we want to and then we've got on trigger exit and if it's if the other other game object tag is play a car uh, then we're going to uh, set the button to false right which means we can't see it on the screen okay i.e. we're too far away from the card to reasonably get in into it okay good so that's all that does right on trigger enter and on trigger exit now in order for that to work uh you need to have uh, at least one of the either the player or the car or both doesn't matter needs to have a, a rigid body attached to it okay and make sure that uh, everything's tagged up correctly before we uh have a look at this so the players tag player uh the um the the player car is tagged uh player car these colliders is what we really need to make sure is tag player car okay exit points fine there's no box collider on that mesh renderers are still on so as we can see it okay a camera uh, set to main camera here uh player camera again set to main camera here okay and all going well when we um, when we press play we should should see this working all right so press play and yeah we here we are right so we've got uh, haven't got any errors up here immediately so that's looking good over here in the console uh, so let's see if we can move Ethan around and see if this uh, is working so he's going forwards right the cars not moving as you can see up here so the controller's working fine. Okay. Now, okay, so look. So now, as you can see, uh, Ethan's close to this car. Uh, and this button here has appeared, right? So that's what we're expecting. Uh, just to show why. So Ethan's there. There's his uh, trigger collider. And that is um, touching these colliders here of the car all right or one of these colliders or it doesn't matter all right, okay there's contact between them and the, the script said the script said here if there's contact on trigger enter uh, then then turn the button on set it act set active true okay so let's just keep going with this uh, let's move away okay let's move away and it turns off right so this is this is not touching this so it's uh, we can't see the button that's correct and we they 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 make contact and then we can see the button all right so let's see if we can get in this car uh, we enter the car yep and we're inside it so uh, uh number of things happened then uh, so first of all we said like ethan's turned off so that's correct okay ethan's camera's turned off which is correct as well and now we're inside the car uh, the button over here is now asking us if we want to exit the car so that script's working too and the camera and everything seems and looks okay now now let's see if we can drive so we're going to use our keyboard yeah we're moving forwards yeah we can turn as expected okay so if it, they're all working good all right and let's just stop the car here okay and let's get out of the car uh, we'll exit the car and there you go right so we've got uh, we've got out the car now out the car and uh, we should only be or oh, use the keyboard only be able to move the ethan which is correct so the car stayed where it should be again the butler's ask, asking if do we want to get back in this car okay no we don't all right not now so okay yeah we've changed our mind we're going to get back in it okay need to drive somewhere else so the trigger's working again back in the car drive around back out of the car good all right now the only thing is is that Le Ethan at the moment is landing inside this box all right so let's just turn that off and uh, let's have a look. so let's exit point here on the player car we'll just turn off the mesh 
all right hit apply just to apply it to that prefab tidy that up a little bit there okay so as we can see what's going on more do our final test all right so let's hit play Okay, so this camera, uh, this uh, multi-purpose camera is following them around. Okay, so, okay, so let's have a look. So we can't see the cube now. Yep, button works. Let's go back. Yep, that's working. Okay, let's, uh, let's get in this car. Go for a drive. Okay, so we're in the car. If we look over here, Ethan's turned off. Correct. No, no, um no box there anymore okay let's have a drive let's go okay so we have a little drive around drive over somewhere else way away from where we were before so we can definitely see that this is working and I've jumped out the car there by mistake all right but don't worry car stop this I did that because the keyboard press the key on the keyboard and let me jump out all right because okay, so I'm gonna get back in the car okay so let's go Let's drive this car again. Alright, so that's a feature there if you want that. You know, you can jump out of a moving car if you want to, but uh, safety uh, safety first, okay? So let's uh, we'll stop the car. And there we are. That's working great. Alright, so there you go. That's how to get in and out of a car and how to drive it around. And yep, no errors up there. And that's the end of the uh, tutorial. Great. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video. And thank you.